Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to Pokemon Showdown. Today we're going to be taking on the Ubers tier with a team that my boy Ali passed me. Shout outs to Problems. It involves Mega Sableye. Do I have some points? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I already looked. Uh, but it involves a Life Orb ho -Oh with Thunder Wave, the best move. We have Clef Key with Thunder Wave, the best move. We have Arceus Wa Water, named Arceus Rock. This doesn't even look like Arceus Water. You know what? Arceus Ice. See, that looks like Arceus Ice. Doesn't look like Arceus Rock. We got Primal Groudon, and we got a game. So, let's just start playing. So, unfortunately, my opponent has nothing for me. Holy crap, I win. Okay, good. So, I'm going to lead off with uh, Sableye, because I can Mega Evolve. I have the Fake Out. I can break. Uh, I can 100% Mega Evolve with Fake Out, which is great. I can. Um, I could have broken Deoxys Sash, but by faking out right there and by staying in, I was able to um, ensure that he's not going to get up Hazards at all with his Deoxys. Now, Part of me really uh, does want to stay in, mainly because I have no switch into this monster. Where's my switch, Ollie? I can't go Primal Groudon. I'm gonna get blown. Actually, no. Yeah, if I go Groudon, I'll be uh, weaker to Xerneas. Actually, no. Groudon's a fine play uh, because Groudon can take the fire move, and I'll be able to take the. Um, this man just Swords Dance, so I could have. I could have went for the. Uh, <laughs> I could I could have went for the um, the foul play right there, but I'm actually gonna go for Dragon Tail just in case he tries to baton pass out into Rayquaza. Thank God he does because if he went for uh, high jump kick or low kick, he probably would have blown me back right there. But in any case, gonna Dragon Tail. Hopefully I do connect on the Rayquaza. Otherwise I'm gonna have to sack my entire team and lose. Yeah, I actually just lose if this does not connect on Rayquaza. There's no way he's going Xerneas. You're not passing a plus two to Xerneas, so he goes up to Groudon as I thankfully do land the uh, attack as um, Arceus normal is going to come out now a little bit of an issue for this team I'm not going to lie then again Sableye can just take it on so I'm actually going to switch on Sableye right here I don't want to risk taking the uh, earthquake damage as well and uh, honestly that might have just been his protect sub pass in any case but holy crap this dude just cursed me out <laughs> it's okay bro but in any case, I'm going to go out to my Sableye and I'm actually just going to fire off a foul play on the uh, incoming Blaziken. This, did, this should do a decent amount of damage considering um, his set. And he Swords Dance with Tom Pass. I'm not sure what he actually wants to hit me with. I'm going to go for the Recover right here because I don't expect him to go for Swords Dance. He should know what foul play does. I am actually praying that he knows what, uh, <laughs> what foul play does. And um, I do expect him just to go for Flare Blitz right here, but I want to go for Recover because he could also hard switch out into a Xerneas. That's a play. Uh, I do have three really nice checks to Xerneas being Klefki, Ho-Oh, as well as Groudon. And with Mega Sableye out, he's not... He goes for Swords Dance anyway. You know what? Because who cares? Uh, in any case, I'm going to go for Foul Play because whatever he passes to is going to get blown back by... Uh, <laughs> By this, by this uh, thing, and plus Blaziken cannot knock me out with the plus two Flare Blitz, and if it does, it should knock itself out. No, it needs a Life Form to knock me out anyway. He, he's not going to be able to knock me out, but I really didn't expect him to go for that. He goes for a Baton Pass, so what are you bringing out, bro? Brings out Groudon. This should get blown all the way back. No, I miss out. I miss. <laughs> and the only priority on my team is Toxic and Fake Out. Well, I enjoyed myself, not going to lie. Um, <laughs> I, I have to go ho -Oh right here on the fire punch, which apparently he has the fire punch. He doesn't have anything else to deal with me. Uh, I'm going to go for the Brave Bird. I think Fake Out is, I am praying that Fake Out is, uh, <laughs> I'm praying that Fake Out is a 2 hit KO. Otherwise, I might have just lost. I think I could still win. Uh, because my Xerneas destroys him once this Groudon is gone. I really didn't expect him to Swords Dance up because I showed... I guess I didn't show Foul Play, but... Yes, I did show Foul Play. I literally hit him with Foul Play on the switching. I have... <laughs> Yo, the low ladder is one of the most dangerous places in the world. I'm going to repeat that. Shout out to my boy Jam. And you no wonder this thing said um, before live plus recording. Sorry, I'm just talking to myself. So I'm going to drink some water as I... Uh, uh, the, the intense sun is just making me thirsty, so we're gonna drink some water right here as um, Can defensive I need Arceus water for Rayquaza Why is my play landing a toxic and then going for fake out is that my only play I don't see another play Yeah, I don't see another play 
Uh, I don't think Fake Out, if Fake Out does 2 a KO, I mean, either way, I'd be sacking a Pokemon, and that Pokemon would be um, Klefki anyway. While Klefki does deal with um, Xerneas, I also have Groudon. That's about it, but I also have Groudon to deal with it to an extent. I'm hoping that I can sweep with my block Geomancy Xerneas anyway. So, what I'm going to do is go for Toxic and... Yeah, no. No. <laughs> All right, fake out. Get a crit. Get a crit. Please just get a crit right now. I need fake out to crit because I'm going to be sacking Pokemon anyway. And I think I'm just going to... I don't even have a win condition anymore. <laughs> Man, I need a toxic to hit to get the 6% to rack up on this dude. Because now I'm going to lose to Xerneas. Because after fake out doesn't kill, this is still my only way of winning the game. <laughs> Pokemon is an amazing game, man. I'm really gonna get 6 0 in the first game. Alright, how can I still win this? How can I still win this? That does 5%! Okay, so I'm gonna have to sack all my Pokemon in order to win this game. But we're going for it, friends. So we're gonna sack the Arceus Water. Maybe he's mono. And I live the attack anyway. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. I'm still gonna win this game. I'm still gonna win this game anyway. Just watch. Just watch, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna win this game anyway. Of course I don't get the crit, though. It must be nice. Alright. <laughs> Remember when Toxic would've hit? No, I don't either. So I'm gonna hit him with the fake out. So, uh... <laughs> Now I just lose to Xerneas, which comes out. Hopefully my opponent chokes and doesn't go Xerneas. And what now? Nothing. Curse you in my mind and move on with my day. <laughs> what else am I supposed to say to him? <laughs> I'm just kidding, obviously. But in any case, if he goes out into Xerneas, I lost. Um, if he, uh, you think you win? <laughs> I don't want to talk crap because I don't want to give him a hint to go out to Xerneas. But <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he scarfs Xerneas. Maybe he's not Geomancy Xerneas. Please go Deoxys and get up Stealth Rock for me. Please. What is wrong with you? Why is he talking crap to me? Hello. Why is this guy talking? Are you okay? Can you just pick a move, please? Thank you. Lord. I'm just going to hit him up with a foul play. He's obviously just going to go for Geomancy and win. Yeah, we're just going to leave. I, this guy was mean. He wasn't even good. <laughs> I lost him. Anyway, and we're going to look for another battle. Um, I, wait, Did that guy say something else? Because I just like left it. But we're going to look for another battle. I think... I'm not sure what we could have done right there. Um, maybe I should just went for foul play anyway. I honestly didn't expect him to make that swords dance play because it was a very 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 bad play but in any case we got another game and looks like mega evolving with save is just gonna work out right for me especially because i do a fake out um we have a smear goal team and he how do i win this game i think my geomancy xerneas can just win i'm geomancy rest talk if you guys didn't know and he actually ends up bleeding off with smear goal, which is Amazing. I don't even I'm not even gonna go for the uh, the fake out. I'm actually just gonna mega evolve and go for foul play because I do get the magic bounce anyway and uh, Foul play. Why did that do four? Huh? I'm gonna keep hitting him with foul plays. What are you gonna do? You're just gonna keep That literally did zero. All right, whatever comes in is just gonna be hit with the foul play anyway. <laughs> I Can't believe that first dude talk crap to me. I mean, what can I say? I can't really say anything. He just got up sticky webs for me, so I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna assume I win. Nah, I'm just kidding. Um, him getting up sticky webs for me is really nice, though, because yeah, he just dips. All right. 
<laughs> I actually do just win. My hoe just puts, puts in work, but we got another game, and uh, I'm going to lead off with Sableye one more time, uh, just because I do want to fake out and uh, get that turn right off the bat. Um, he actually has Gengar plus Blaziken, so I'm assuming it's Mega Gengar plus regular Blaziken. It could be the Baton Passing Blaziken, maybe trying to Baton Pass to, uh, maybe trying to Baton Pass to, um, to an Arceus... But then again, this could very well be Arceus uh, Water, just because he's really weak to Kyogre. I don't really consider. Well, then again, I don't really consider Arceus Water a uh, switch in anyway, or Giratina. But in any case, I'm just gonna Mega Evolve and go right for Foul Play. I'm not trapped because I am a Ghost type, so I can switch out as much as I want. He is the one Gengar in the game with Dazzling Gleam. Ah, that's actually that's annoying. In any case, I'm actually gonna go out to my Ho-Oh right now. As I can take the next Dazzling Gleam, I I did not expect, Dazzling Gleam is not something I expected. I can recover off though versus his, uh, his Giratina uh, after it drops Draco or his Lugia. So I'm just going to go for Thunder Wave right here. Uh, if he has Destiny Bond, Thunder Wave obviously is better than that uh, because if he does have Taunt, one, I'll stall him out of these attacks. I'll keep going for Thunder Wave as much as I have to unless he's like the random HP Rock. Unless he's like a random HP Rock Mega Gengar. <laughs> We're pretty good right now, but Thunder Wave is great. Uh, Mega Gengar is crippled. If he wants to switch out, then I'll be able to Thunder Wave anything else on his team. I'm going to remember where I am on the ladder. He has Arceus Ground, and that is an issue. Yeah, that's actually an issue. Unfortunately, my Arceus Water, which is my only switch in, does not have the uh, Defog on the team. But a good thing is, he support Arceus Ground, which means that I can check him relatively well with... Uh, with my Arceus Water. And what I'm actually going to do is go for the Ice Beam because I don't want him going back into Mega Gengar. He obviously doesn't know what my set is, but I don't want to go for a status move and have him go back into Mega Gengar and actually trap me. Maybe have like Parasong Protect and stuff like that. I don't know. He has Dazzling Gleam. I don't know what to expect, but I'm able to 2 KO the uh, Mega Gengar upon switching as, um, as I guess Blaziken is going to come out right here. This is a threat, man. This is actually a threat. I want to go directly into my Groudon, just because I can um, I can go for Earthquake or anything. He does have that Rayquaza, which is what I'm scared of. I'm pretty sure he's going to try and pass it, that Rayquaza. So I'm actually going to go for Dragon Tail one more time. Uh, he could definitely go for a Low Kick, but I should be able to live it at max HP because I am a Primal Groudon, and I'm the best Uber in the entire game outside of Mega Rayquaza. And if he goes out into Rayquaza and I do Misty Dragon Tail, that sucks. That's nothing else I can say about that. That sucks. But I do have Priority Thunder Wave on Klefki. And uh, Arceus Water should be able to check one. It should be able to check one uh, thing. But he does go for the high jump kick and gets a crit on me. Which is amazing, to say the least. <laughs> As I'm forced to go out into Klefki now, that way I can Thunder Wave him. Um, if he does have a Lumberry, I, I kind of just lose. That high jump kick would not have knocked me out. I don't care if he's adamant plus two. I'm a primal Groudon. I have a lot of defense. And uh, I would have been able to take it. It's not my day today, though. We're going to hit him with the Thunder Wave and see if he has a Lumberry. He does not. He decides to go for knockoff for whatever reason. Um, I'm going to start spiking up then because I don't I don't have a switch. Because he has Swords Dance and knockoff, I don't think he has Baton Pass. Gets fully paralyzed right there. I can appreciate that. Uh, going to hit him with a Play Rough just in case uh, he does have a Focus Sash. As he Baton Passes out. So if he Baton Passes out to Rayquaza... I just made some immaculate plays. I just made some immaculate plays. But Hebleton passes out into Giratina Origin form. As uh, what I am going to do is um, go for the Thunder Wave just to slow this thing down. I should be able to live up Shadow Sneak even at plus two. And slowing it down is great for Xerneas as well. As he goes for rest. Help me. God. <laughs> what is your set? Alright, so I'm going to go out to Xerneas. I have no idea what his set is, but I have to go out to Xerneas anyway and try and hit him with some Moonblast. As he has just Rest Talk, so that's great. Because what I can do is just go right for the... Um, I have to go for Geomancy right here. Because he will be able to outspeed me. And uh, in any case, I'm just going to fire off a Moonblast right now. I could win the game right here, depending on um, what his set is. He goes for Shadow Force. I am max defense though. I am max defense. This is going to do a hell of a lot, but I am near max defense. I should definitely be able to live this. Yeah, I live it. Thankfully, I'm able to live it as we're able to get rid of the... <laughs> as we're able to get rid of the Giratina. And uh, Blaziken has been slowed down. Uh, Lugia is going to come out, and I think it's time we go for the rest. Ooh. 
It's time we show what we gotta do. Back at full. Yum. As he is gonna phase me out into my uh, into my clef key. Now, what I actually wanna do is well, he forfeits. What I was gonna do was just go directly into Sableye and on like whatever he wants to go for and recover off. But we're gonna look for another game. Sorry, buddy, but I'm actually recording. I'm gonna block challenges uh, just because I am recording, so I, I don't really wanna get interrupted uh, while I'm trying to record. But I don't know, looking at the team, I was gonna talk about the team, but we already got another game. <laughs> Holy crap, man, everything's going by so fast. In any case, we got another game, and once again, I think Sableye is just the best lead because it gets me that free mega evolution. It ensures that my opponent cannot get a hazard. Fake Out has the highest priority in the entire game, and um, in any case, in any case, like if he wants to lead off with Mega Kangaskhan, because it's definitely Mega Kangaskhan, hello. It's definitely Mega Kangaskhan, so he could lead off with that if he wants to. I'll uh, try and Mega have fun. I don't like to wish people luck. It doesn't luck doesn't go my way. But leads off a Groudon. Um, good lead on my opponent's part. Um, but I'm just gonna fake out anyway just to get off the Mega Evolution. I will be able to bounce back that Dark Void if he wants to go for it later. I also get the uh, bulk. Unfortunately, fake out does nothing to anybody. Um, and he's definitely gonna go for the attack right here. So I'm actually gonna go out into my Arceus Water because it is my Groudon check. If he wants to get up rocks, that's fine as well. Goes for Lava Plume. He's going to get the burn. Yep, predicted easily. Easiest prediction of my life. As uh, what I'm actually going to do is go right for the Toxic right here. Um, I am physically defensive, so I could take any hit he wants to go for. If I do land the Toxic, I do have Defog, so I don't mind that at all. Um, as he is going to go for Precipice Blades. But I landed a Toxic on Groudon, unlike the first match. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to be able to recover right now, honestly. Um, for those of you that actually are not aware, and I think I'll, I'll just say it because there are obviously people watching um, and other people don't know. There are, um, what I'm actually doing is streaming this live for a few select people. So shout out to them who are all watching. I, uh, I'm not paying attention to, to the chat. The reason I'm doing this is because I accidentally just streamed my UCL team building video. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I felt bad. <laughs> I really felt bad uh, because I deleted that video and um, I'm really busy with editing as well as midterms and stuff so I'm not really having too much time to stream so I basically just wanted to do this um, there's only about a hundred people there so they're watching but they will be seeing this early but in any case he misses precipice blades because it is it is one of the uh, worst moves and best moves uh, for that Groudon could have but Kangaskhan is going to come out going to go directly into my Sableye as he is going to Mega Evolve and go right for Fake Out not going to touch me at all and now I'm just going to go for Foul Play to try and hit the incoming Primal Groudon or just anything on his team um, I'm not streaming by the way for those of you who are wondering I'm not streaming this for a select group of people because I care more about them that's, that's not the case um, I'm doing that because there was a lot of people there already watching, so I just wanted to do that. Now, I don't know why he went Arceus Ghost. If he's Calm Mind, he doesn't beat me. If he's Swords Dance, he doesn't beat me. It looks to be Calm Mind, but Foul Play could be a 2 KO on him. It is not, it is not a 2 KO, no. Um, I'm going to go for Recover right here. He's going to go for his own Recover. And uh, I think what I actually want to do is go out into my... Um, my ho because ho can beat this 1v1 i'm already at full hp anyway as he goes for another recover and what i can do is just burn him with the sacred fire and proceed to dragon tail him out later uh ho should be a good enough trek to this he doesn't i have a lot of spadef investment as you can see his uh, judgment is only going to do um less than half as i am able to burn him with the uh, sacred fire now what i actually want to do is because his Groudon is so low I kind of want to sweep him with Xerneas, but at the same time because he did have ditto i'm uh, really hesitant on you know sweeping him <laughs> But Groudon actually does not do too much besides get up rocks. So I want to get up my rocks just because he's going to be switching around. And um, I break a potential Focus Slash on Darkrai. I uh, weaken the uh, the Arceus Ghost. And even if he wants to Calm Mind up, I can uh, Dragon Tail him out. And typically you have Groudon on the team for Kyogre. I mean, Groudon's a great Pokemon. Primal Groudon's a great Pokemon. Should be on most Uber's teams, if not all. But typically you have it on the team because it can deal with Xerneas, it can deal with uh, with Primal Kyogre, and um, my opponent has neither of those, so I, what I'm actually going to do is just hit him with a Lava Plume, just do a lot of damage, I actually get a crit on him, which is 13% left, but being how uh, Showdown is, I'm actually able to knock him out, as Kangaskhan is going to come out, I don't want to risk no power up punch, so I'm actually going to switch directly into my Sableye one more time, and I think Sableye just walls the majority of his team, with those rocks up, 
his uh his shaman's actually gonna come out and uh, what I'm gonna do is get off this chip damage with fake uh, that that damage right there just won me the game that damage right there just won me the game and this is a threat <laughs> gonna go out to my Klefki because I can hit him with a toxic as he is gonna go for seed flare I can also go for uh, I could also go for the thunder wave thunder wave might actually be my best play um I don't want to lose to dark ride though so I'm actually gonna switch out just in case he does have earth power into my ho-oh uh, just in case he does have that earth power right there as he goes for the air slash trying to <laughs> trying to flinch my uh, my Klefki to death now I'm actually gonna go right back out into my Klefki just in case he packs HP rock because it is semi common um, as he is gonna heal and wish up I don't mind him sacrificing his own Pokemon so I can go right back out into my check slash counters so what I'm gonna do is go directly into my uh, Lava Plume Precipice Blade Stealth Rock we don't know if he has the um, we don't know if he has the Stone Edge just yet, but I can't go to, into my Ho-Oh. He doesn't have a Ho-Oh check, so I'm assuming he does have Stone Edge. So I'm going to go out to my Arceus Water as I can just land a Toxic on whatever comes out, whether it be Darkrai, um, Kangaskhan, or the Ditto. And uh, if Darkrai comes out and has a Lumberry, great. I burnt that Lumberry, and I can paralyze it after. And then what I can do is um, I deal with him. But I'm thankfully able to land the Toxic on the Darkrai. He's actually a leftover set, so I'm assuming he was the sub- the subset yeah assuming he was like the subset uh, I can't really get rid of the hazards can I now I'm gonna go out to my Klefki right here on this dark rye uh, as he is gonna go for nasty plot I don't know if he's nasty plot just leftovers or what type of nasty plot set he is and uh, see I could play around and go out to Sableye bounce him back and then hit him with the uh, hit him with the I'll uh, fake it after that but I'm just gonna go for a spike I want to weaken the Groudon I want to weaken the his entire team. He actually chose to go for Dark Pulse. Really interesting play, just because I would have eaten that up. But I'm going to go for more spikes. And I would have been able to knock him out with the player off. But again, he goes for Dark Pulse, and he is going to get the crit. The spikes being up, though, is going to be able to weaken the Groudon, as well as the entirety of his team, as I can just now go right back out into my Stabilize and just kick fake out fake out of course gonna cause him to flinch get some more poison damage and now only have to sack one more Pokemon he won't be able to come back in um, I could in theory just go for the uh, recover but Groudon does absolutely nothing for me so I'm just gonna sack that right there to the sludge bomb get predicted easiest prediction of my life easiest resist but in any case whatever's gonna come out I will be able to beat 1v1 and um, I'm thinking I'm actually gonna go ho-oh just in case he goes Groudon, because I can click Brave Bird, I should be faster. I don't necessarily need to knock him out, I just need to make him low. Uh, low enough to the point where I can uh, knock him out with another Pokemon on my team. But I'm able to hit him with the uh, with the Brave Bird, as he has Thunder Wave as his only attacking move. <laughs> that was his only attacking move. And Sableye should be able to clean up the game after this. So, I'm going to go for my own Thunder Wave. Because I want him to beat me with the Lava Plume. He actually gets a crit on me. So that's even better for me. As I can now go out to my Arceus. If uh, Ice Beam does not knock him out. Then Earthquake plus Poison plus Fake Out will. As I'm actually able to get up the KO with the Ice Beam. And uh, if Kangaskhan wants to come out. That is completely fine. Because uh, what I can do is just go for the Toxic right here. I don't expect him to go for Fake Out. As he actually does. I didn't expect that because I mean I had already shown what my switching was like 4 million times. But <laughs> I'm going to go out into my save line now. And what I can do is just go right for recover. Uh, eating up his attack. And save line just wins the game at this point. Uh, as he goes for sucker punch. I want to go for will o -Wisp, but I don't want him going out to his own save line. <laughs> I will go for foul play anyway. Sucker punch is going to do negligible damage anyway. So I'm able to hit the Kangaskhan with the foul play. Uh, meaning that he's going to go down to hazards. And... Uh, once he transforms into my Sableye with his Ditto, which he's forced to do, I'm actually going to go for Willowist because I'm cheeky. And I don't want to take the, uh, the Circuit Punch damage. So, <laughs> I had no reason to do that. And uh, he is going to forfeit right there. So, we're going to look for another game. Uh, but, like, a, I want to talk about the team. Oh, we got you, bro. Hey, buddy. Let's go again. Have fun, friend. Let's go. Ooh. Let us go. Oh man, this is a good game too. Ooh, 
That's my boy. He said you two in small. Wait, wait. So you were talking crap before. All right. So he leads off with his blaze again, and uh, we're gonna do the same exact plays as last time. I'm gonna hit him with a fake out, uh, and that actually puts him in range of swords. I hope he swords dances up right here, and I'm able to kill him. Come on, swords dance up. Swords dance up on my foul play. Yeah, SD up. Good play. Ah, that's exactly why he should not have swords dance up last time. <laughs> As Groudon is going to come out, and I do have my counter, which is my Arceus Water. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be a little bit, uh, <laughs> getting a little bit hype right here. But Groudon's going to come out, and again, he likes to swords dance up on me. So I'm going to pray that my Toxic does land as it does, as he is going to go for Earthquake, and he gets a Revenge Crit on me. Why? <laughs> Why? My, I needed my Arceus Water. Alright, well, he went for Fire Punch before, so I don't think he actually has Stone Edge. So what I'm going to do is go out into, I mean, if he does have Stone Edge, well, that's unfortunate, but I'm going to go for the Brave Bird right here. Um, I definitely would have been able to live in Earthquake, but that's Pokemon. That's Pokemon for you. I'm max defense, near max defense, um, uh oh, but at least I landed the Toxic this time, which is very crucial. Uh, the combination of Sableye plus Klefki can definitely deal with the rest of his team, especially with Groudon being low, as I am able to hit him with the, um, hit him with the Brave Bird right there, and what I can do now is pray that fake out is going to be able to deal with him plus poison damage. It should be able to though. It definitely should be able to. He's at 27%. Let's see. He is not going to go down and I have to think about what I want to sack right here. This deals with his team. I'm sacking my Groudon. Remember when I lived the earthquake and I could have gotten off ice beam damage and had four Pokemon left? I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> in any case though I'm going to be able to go into my uh, my Sableye hmm Sableye or Geomancy Xerneas I think Xerneas yeah because I would think he would go Rayquaza right here right am I going to lose this guy twice in a row Deoxys does not make sense at all Rayquaza or maybe Zer his own Xerneas. Part of me wants to get up a spike. I'm going to my Xerneas. I'm expecting him to bring out Rayquaza right here. This man is a lord though. Crits for days. Crits for eons. Call me Latios. I'm not going to say anything else though. I don't want him talking about my mom again. That, uh, that hurt my feelings. In any case, though, I think um, Xerneas is actually a pretty decent play. Then again, no, I'm going to go Klefki. I'm definitely going to go Klefki. He wants to go Arceus. I'm not sure what he wants to go for. He needs to pick a play. He goes out to his own Xerneas right here. And... Uh, your boy's going to go out into his uh, Klefki right here. I don't want to take on this Xerneas. Um, even if he has Aromatherapy, I can Geomancy up alongside him after. And uh, I will be able to hit him with the Play Rough after that, doing a bit of damage. Just doing the damage that I need. It's necessary for me to be able to beat him. And I believe that Sableye beats Rayquaza and beats the entirety of his team. So I'm going to go out to my Klefki, as he is going to go for Geomancy. And uh, what I am going to do is go for Thunder Wave. And because it is the yellow color, it's going to help me come out on top in this situation. So we're going to go right for Thunder Wave right now. Going to do some nice damage to his Xerneas. I hope he switches out after going for Geomancy. But we're able to hit him with the Thunder Wave as he is going to go for the Moon Blast. And what I have to do right now is go for the Play Rough and then uh, Geomancy up with my own Xerneas alongside him as he's going to get paralyzed twice um, and I'm going to win. So that's exactly what's going to happen. Actually, if he gets paralyzed, I'm going for a Spike because a Spike ensures that I kill Arceus and all those Pokemon. But able to get the attack drop on him as he does get paralyzed. Nice. 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 I kind of want to go for a spike. I'm going for another play rough. If he gets paralyzed one more time, I'm going for a spike. But he does not. Uh, unfortunate sigh. Must be nice. But I will be able to go on to my Xerneas now and uh, go right for the Geomancy. 
as he's going to get fully paralyzed this turn. Um, it's basically the only reason I went for Thunder Wave, so he can get fully paralyzed on turn uh, 4 of Thunder Wave, because this is turn 1, turn 2, turn 3. So I basically went for Thunder Wave, that way he can get fully paralyzed on turn 4. And um, that was my game plan, I was thinking long term. And I should be able to win right now. That's, I mean, what? I was thinking long term. What else, would I, what, could, what else can I say? It's exactly what I was thinking right here. But uh, hopefully he switches out as well. That's also something I was predicting at this turn. Turn 4 was either the turn where he gets fully paralyzed or um, he switches out. I think that was his best play. Why did he keep SDing up with his team? I don't understand. In front of a foul play Sableye. But like I said, I do expect him to uh, forfeit right here. Well, I'm praying that he does. <laughs> Now, but after I get the Geomancy boosts, uh, not only will I outspeed his entire team and he's going to get fully paralyzed, I will also be able to beat him 1v1. Um, unfortunately, doesn't get fully paralyzed like I expected. Uh, you can't, you know, guess them all. But Moonblast will be able to knock him out as it misses out on 1 HP. Huh? Friend? But I am going to go right for the fake out right here and Sableye is going to be able to get the kill on the Zerni. It's nice revenge for the last match. Holy crap. This man's blowing me back. But Sableye is able to get the kill, which is actually better for me in a sense because I can um I can Will O Wisp and then foul play the Rayquaza. But he's just gonna go for Swords Dance anyway. I might just go right for foul play. <laughs> Alright, Rayquaza is gonna come out. See, my gut is telling me to go for foul play because he's gonna go for Swords Dance anyway. <laughs> Let me do a calc real quick. I'm actually going to run a quick calc because I don't want to lose this. I, I think I do lose, but I don't want to lose it. So I'll do what's possible to make it that I don't lose. Alright, hold up. My, uh, my calc is lagging. Whatever, we're going for foul play right here on his Swords Dance. As he goes right for the Dragon Ascent. And he gets a crit! Amazing! As uh, he actually has a Focus Sash as well. Holy crap, man. Good game. What is wrong? What is happening to me? <laughs> that dude just went 2 and 0 and 2 versus I'm 0 and 2 versus that dude. We're going to look for another game. <laughs> I remember when I had my ground on him though and I would have been able to get up stealth rock, but then he crit earthquake. Sigh. Pokémon is a game of skill. In any case, we got another game, and uh, this should be the final game of the. Uh, should be the final game of the um, of the session. So I'm actually gonna lead off with Sableye one more time. Lack of uh, ground immunities. I don't like Ho Oh as a ground immunity. It would be Latios and Latias would be my favorite, or or potentially um, potentially like a Giratina right here. But I'm just gonna Mega Evolve and go right for Fake Out. Uh, ensures that I get the Mega Evolution. Hello. Ensures that I get the uh, Mega Evolution off. He will 100% flinch right here. And uh, I keep Mega Sableye out on the field. Unfortunately, this is kind of bad because he has no reason not to go for Moonblast. And again, thanks, man. I'm going to go off to Ho-Oh because I don't expect him to go for Thunder. I expect him to go for Moonblast. Uh, I guess he could Geomancy up. Yep. Uh, he could Geomancy up if he wants to. Honestly, but at the same time, um, that would be a pretty bad play, I think. But he goes Groudon right here on my uh, on my Ho-Oh switch. And I guess he expected me to go on my Groudon right there. Good play on his part. Maybe my Klefki. I'm going to go out to my RC's Water and just land Toxic. He doesn't seem to have a Toxic immunity on his team. Um, time to shame myself on YouTube. <laughs> doesn't seem to have a Toxic immunity on his team. So I'm going to go out into my Arceus as he goes for the Stone Edge. That looks like Dual Dance Groudon, but that is also his only Stealth Rocker, unless he has a Stealth Rock Arceus. So I'm going to fire off a Toxic. Uh, Arceus is my Groudon check as well as my um, Salamence check. So he's going to Thunder Wave me. A little bit unfortunate. I actually want to bounce back the Rock, so I'm going to go out to my Sableye as he goes out into his Xerneas. <laughs> this man making Lord plays right there. Um, I'm assuming that he is Aromatherapy Xerneas. That's why he did that. But I'm going to go for Fake Out because I want to just get off any chip damage. Any damage on his Xerneas is nice because as we saw from the last game, um, I do not KO Xerneas if it gets a boost. So I'm going to go out to my ground on what I'm expecting to be an Aromatherapy. I'm just not going to stay in anyway because it would be a pretty poor play. 
as he does go right for the aromatherapy. And now what I'll do is actually fire off a lava plume, expecting his Giratina to want to come out. And um, lava plume is just like Scald, so I do have that chance to burn, as I do get it. Really nice for me. And uh, I'm actually going to go for my Stealth Rock right here, uh, if he wants to Dragon Tail me out, as he goes for his Toxic right there. Now, he does have Defog. On this Giratina, I'm actually expecting him to have Defog. So, I'm going to hit him with the Lava Plume just to do a bit more damage as um, he is going to go for Defog. Because they have Defog, Stealth Rock, I don't think he can actually um, touch me. But I'm going to go for my Stealth Rock one more time just in case he wants to switch out into Salamence right here. As uh, he's just going to go for Defog repeatedly, allow me to you know wear down his Giratina. I don't mind that. Once his own gear, his Groudon has Stone Edge and Thunder Wave. If I can weaken that, I can win. So, what do I want to do right here? Lava Plume does 17%, so I just knock him out with the Lava Plume. But unfortunately, I'll be taking the extra damage. But at this range, I can still take a hit from Xerneas and get up my rocks. I don't necessarily need rocks. I just needed that damage on him. Uh, Arceus is going to come out. I don't want to risk him setting up um, as he is going to go for Earthquake. And unfortunately, I missed Dragon Tail. It's Pokemon, though. What can you do, right? Um, as I'm just going to go right out into my Sableye. And this is a little bit frustrating because now he can go out into Xerneas and then double back out uh, into Groudon predicting me. But again, it's Pokemon, so uh, he's going to go Xerneas as I do go right for the uh, foul play on it, doing a decent amount of damage, and uh, Groudon is definitely coming out like 110%. I honestly just want to go for a double foul play. Yeah, I'm going to make the play right here, because Groudon is definitely coming out. He knows I have Klefki, he knows I have Ho-Oh, they are my switch-ins. Groudon should be his switch right now, and if I get off more damage on Groudon, I can win with a Geomancy, so we're going to try and go for that. Uh, I don't expect him to Geomancy up right here, I think it'd be bit of a hasty play and because I'm in the back I feel like I have to make an aggressive play so I'm gonna expect him to double right here can I let someone in I don't I don't if you want to but I'm able to hit the ground on upon switching with the foul play and we are back in this game that is great uh, if you want to if you want to but he's gonna go right for the lava plume and get the burn on me little bit unfortunate as I am gonna be able to hit him with the next uh, next um, next attack, and if I want to beat Arceus, I have to Geomancy up. In any case, his Groudon is low enough to the point where I can beat him with, where I can beat him with, um, with a plus two Xerneas, so that's my, you know, plan. So, I'm going go for Willowis because I want to sack this, and also if he decides to randomly double right here, I get a burn off on anything, which would be great for me. I kind of expect him to actually switch out, not wanting Ho to want to come in for free, so maybe go mute, not Mewtwo, but maybe his own Xerneas, even getting off that extra burn damage, I don't care if he has aromatherapy, uh, him showing aromatherapy is great for me, as uh, what I am going to do is go out into my Xerneas right now, and uh, definitely has a move, I'm going to go for block, that way he can't switch out. I know he's just going to Thunder Wave me. But thankfully I'm able to hit him with a block so he can no longer switch out. And now I can Geomancy up as he misses. And I get fully paralyzed. So as he misses again. And I'm able to get off my Geomancy. And uh, unfortunately I don't have Rest Talk on this thing. I should be able to live this though. That does way too much damage. What is this damage? Why is that doing 51%? That's so broken. <laughs> That's so broken. Uh, even if he misses right now, I'm pretty sure he just revenge kills me with Arceus. I didn't expect it to do that much. I'm a defensive Xerneas, um, as he's actually able to 2 KO me. I, like I said, I didn't I expect it to do that much. And I don't think I can win any of these games. Um, well, maybe I could still win with Klefki plus Arceus Water, uh, assuming I do outspeed his Groudon. But I do not outspeed, and that's going to be a good game. Holy crap, man. What is my, um, what is my Xerneas spread? Problems, what does this do? What does this do? What does 128 defense do? Tell me what that 128 defense, tell me what the 104 special attack does. Why is this not this? We're fixing this for next time. Holy crap, man. If I can't set up on, this team has no ground on answers. What does the 120 defense do? Uh, in any case, guys, I'm just going to leave it at that. I got blown back like three times in this episode, so I think we went negative. But I hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, I'm not a fan of the Ubers tier. 
I think Promogrelin is broken. I think Mega Salamence is broken. Um, I think there's just way too many threats. But in any case, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Feel free to leave a like if you did. And until next time, guys, later.